So now for flywheel design, for ME423, machine design 2. So, so, so this is the picture of the picture of the flywheel. Okay, there are mass M, total weight, nya, reduce, and angular velocity. Then, the important thing. Bearing is a parent design. Ayan. So introduction, the flywheel used in machine serves as a reservoir which stores energy during the period when the supply of energy is more than the requirement and releases it during the period when the requirement of energy is more than the supply. So storage lang siya para battery. In case of steam engine, internal combustion engine, which is located compressors and pumps, the energy is developed during one stroke and the engine is to run for the whole cycle on the energy produced during this stroke. Now, coefficient of fluctuation of speed. Ito lang hindi discuss natin na sa ibang rin pero makikita kayo ang fluctuation of energy. more on tayo dito lang sa practice from speed and the similar lang siya. So the difference between the maximum and minimum speed during a cycle kasi may range siya yung mabago is called the maximum fluctuation of speed. So the ratio of the maximum fluctuation of speed to the mid speed is called fluctuation coefficient of fluctuation of speed. And the coefficient of fluctuation let n sub 1 is the maximum speed in RPM during the cycle, n2 is the minimum speed in RPM during the cycle, and n is the mean speed in RPM. n is equal to n1 plus n2 over n2. So therefore, the completion of fluctuation, so wait, ito yung sa kabila eh. Okay, kali natin. Take note the formula of maximum and minimum. So therefore, coefficient of fluctuation is C sub F is equal to C sub S is equal to N sub 1 minus N sub 2 over F is equal to 2 times N sub 1 minus N sub 2 over N sub 1 minus N sub 2. This is called sometimes operating. In terms of angular speed, C sub F is equal to C sub S equal to W1 minus W2 or omega over W is equal to 2 times W1 minus W2 over W1 plus W2. In terms of linear speed, this is equal to B sub S1 minus B sub S2 over B sub S, or 2 times B sub S1 minus B sub S2 over B sub S1 plus B sub S2. Take note sa pairs, ang subscript na S is in seconds. So, feet per second. Pag F, okay, we did it now. In feet per minute. Now, the coefficient of fluctuation is a limiting factor in the design of flywheel. And the application, so the kind of answer to this is fluctuation. It varies depending upon the nature of service to which the flywheel is employed. So table one shows the permissible values for coefficient of fluctuation of speed for some machines. So ito, um, look, look ta. A machine design, so ito yung application type of machine or class of service, classic machine. At ito ang coefficient of fluctuation of point two. Electrical machines, 0.003, di ba? So classic, malaki dito malaki ang coefficient ang uh, fluctuation so gear wheel 0.02 half rate kaya pag mataas ang fluctuation coefficient sa mataas ang yeah. change of speed yeah. ito naman value sa pairs so yan yeah. ang reciprocating speeding machining speeding gears 0.01 to 0.02 so this is 0.01 to 0.02. So we correct it. So error plus an book. So this is the right answer. 0.01 to 0.02. Diba? So common sense lang. Bakit 0.01 to 0.02? Pababa. Tapat pataas. Ito yun. Gear drive 0.02. Gear wheel transmission 0.02. So okay. Talit. So now, energy is stored in flywheel. So this is the type of equation. Equal to 
calculation. So let M, the mass of flywheel, the total. K is the radius of variation of the flywheel. I is the mass moment of energy of the flywheel about the axis of rotation. M, P is 12. And N sub 1 and N sub 2 is the maximum and minimum speed during the cycle in RPM. So w1 and W2 maximum and minimum angular speeds during the cycle in larger per second. N is equal to mean speed during the cycle. Average. Omega is the mean angular speed during the cycle, largest per second. C sub F is the coefficient of fluctuation of speed. Now, the mean kinetic energy of the flywheel is Ke is equal to 1 half of I omega squared is equal to 1 half of Mt squared omega squared. Now, as the, fly, as the speed of the flywheel changes from omega 1 to omega 2, the maximum fluctuation of energy is delta Ke is equal to 1 half of I omega 1 squared minus this is enclosed. So yeah, this is now equal to n k squared over two times omega one is one times two times squared. Also equal to m times p sub s one squared minus p sub s two over two. Is equal to r times p sub s one minus p sub s two times p sub s one plus p sub s two over two. Is equal to m c sub f p sub s times two b s. You know, di ba? Then by two is m c f p sub s squared. So average. So in the English units, this is equal to delta k is equal to w c f p s squared over g sub o, or w times c f p sub s squared over two point two. Or w is equal to 32.2 and delta k over c m p s squared in pounds. Now we get to is pound mass, which is the mass of flywheel rim required to care for a change of kinetic energy delta k of mass with a coefficient of fluctuation at an average speed. Okay, so the mass of flywheel is effective. So this is the effective is the flywheel rim. Yung rim, yung pag-ikot, hindi kasama yung mga arms. Okay? Arm, hindi kasama yun. Ito. So ito lang. So hindi kasama ito. Hindi yan. Okay? Pag i-require na yung weight, so kung ilang percent yun, yun. So ito yung percentage para mag-work ng total rate. Take that up. The mass of flywheel rim. So, in the above expression, expression of the size of the slide, only the mass moment of interest of the rim is considered, and the mass moment of interest of the arm is neglected. So, ang kinakuha doon is your mass moment of interest. You must not share as your saline line. This is due to the fact that major portion of the weight of the fiber is in the rim, then a small portion is in the hand and arm. So, but you can have a short term moment of the size of the negligent of the hand because your arm is not malapit. That's it. Also, the hand and arms are related to the axis of the patient. So therefore, the moment of interest of the hub and arm is very small. So I think they put on. So yun lang. Ang nakukopyot pa doon, pag-copyot ng energy is yung sa rim. Now, the density of cast iron may be taken as 7 to 60 kilogram per cubic meter. And for cast steel, it may be taken as 7,800 kilogram per cubic meter, SI. The mass of the plywood rim is given by M is volume times the density, P times D times A times Rho. From this expression, when we find the value of cross-section and area of the rim. So, rim ka lang, kung consider mo. So, itong M equal to sa W, kung ang density po is in pounds per cubic foot sa English units. Dito, sa SI is kilograms. Assuming the cross section of the rim to be rectangular, so then A is equal to B times T, where B is the width of the rim, 
and A is thickness of the beam. If not, I may assume it. Knowing the ratio of B and U, which is usually taken as 2, so we take it in 2, we may find the width and thickness of the beam. So this one we assume 2. When the plywood is to be used as a pulley, then the width of the rim should be taken as 20 to 40 mm greater than the width of the So, stresses and flywheel. So, this I can say, of limit in your stress. So, a flywheel, a certain figure one, consists of a rim. So, yeah, a rim, a section of the rim, B and B. Our weight of flywheel is which uh, uh, consists of a rim at which the figure function of the mass. Or weight of the will is concentrated. A boss or half for fixing the plywood on the shaft in a number of arms for supporting the rim on the half. So the following type of stresses are in use in the rim of the plywood. So the A tensile stress is due to centrifugal force. B tensile bending caused by the restraint of the arm. A good job. So then shrinking stresses due to an equal rate of cooling of casting. These stresses may be very high, but there is no easy method of determining. Method of determining. This stress is taken care of by a factor of safety. So, Mona, tensile stress due to centrifugal force. The tensile stress in the rim due to centrifugal force, assuming that the rim is unstrained by the arms, it is in a similar way as a thin sided there, subjected to internal pressure. So, sigma t is equal to rho b sub s squared, or in this unit, sigma t is equal to rho b sub s squared over 144t sub o psi. So, 144 is a conversion factor, where b sub s is taken as velocity. Of a point on the main circumference of the rim. So next, tensile bending stress, the advocacy, caused by restraint of the arm. So the tensile bending stress in the rim due to the restraint of the arm is based on the assumption that each portion of the rim between a pair of the arm behaves like a beam. Mm -hmm. Peaks at both ends and uniformly loaded, such as shown in figure 2, such that the length between fixed end is L is equal to pi and pi D over N, even N D is the number of arms. The uniformly distributed load W per unit length will be equal to the centrifugal force between a pair of arms. So W is equal to BT or W squared D over 2. Now, the maximum bending moment is M is equal to W S squared over 12, is equal to BT rho W squared D over 34 times pi D over NA squared. And the section modulus is C is equal to BT squared over 6. Therefore, bending stress is simple B is equal to M over D is equal to BT rho times omega squared D over 24 times pi d over n to a squared times 6 over p d squared. Okay. And b could measure factor and get the process. So sigma b is equal to 2.4675 rho omega squared d cubed over n sub a squared d is equal to 2.4675 rho b sub a squared r over n sub a squared d. Now, the total stress at the rim is sigma sigma to sigma t plus sigma t. This is theoretical, so my assumption. Now, actually, if the arms of the apply wheel do not stretch at all and are placed very close together, then the typical force will not set up a stress in the arms. In other words, sigma t will be zero. On the other hand, if the arms are stretched enough to allow the expansion of the rim due to the typical action, then will be no restraint due to the arms, so therefore sigma b is zero. Yeah. So, paano mo approximate to the, the balance yun? So, it has been shown by Gil and Sada, the arms of the 
a flywheel is stretched about three-fourths of the amount necessary for the expansion. Therefore, the total stress in the arm is three-fourths sigma p plus one-fourth sigma p. Yeah. This is the uh, by experience. Critically, dito tayo. Huwag okay, ginagamit to. So, yun. Pagkawa mo na. Now, the following stresses are induced in the arms of the flywheel. Stresses in flywheel arm. So, arm naman tayo. So, tension is stress due to centrifugal force acting on the rim. Parel. We building stress due to the torque transmitted from the rim to the shaft or from the shaft to the rim. So, shrinking is stresses due to an equal rate of cooling of casting. This is stresses are difficult to determine. So, consider the as factor of safety. Una, bending is stress due to the torque transmitted. So, due to the torque transmitted from the rim to the shaft or from the shaft to the rim. So, the arms will be subject to be thick because they are required to carry the full torque load. So, in order to find out the maximum building moment of the arm, it may be assumed as a capital level beam. Fixed at the hand and carry a concentrated load at the end of the beam as shown. So, the load mo is T over Rn. R, R minus R, R. So, let T is the maximum torque transmitted by the shaft. R is equal to mean radius of the rim. R is simulator R, radius of the hub. And so, B is the number of arms. C is section modulus for the cross section of the arm. Then, the load at the beam radius of the uh, rim is F is equal to TR. Then, load on each arm is F sub A over F sub A is equal to T divided by R F sub A. And the maximum building moment which lies on the arm at the half is the force that you distance, which is R minus R. So, M is equal to T over R divided by S of A times R minus R. So therefore, the building distance in the R is sigma P1 is equal to M over C is equal to T over R and S of A Z times R minus R. So therefore, the total tension distance in the R of T of N is sigma is equal to sigma P1 plus sigma P1. Yeah. Now, you know, mga stresses. So, may design limit yan, then A quit yan. So, construction of flywheel. So, the flywheels of smaller size up to 600 mm diameter are casted in one piece. So, figure A. The rim and hub are joined together by pins of weave as shown in figure 4A. The holes in the weave may be made for handling purposes. In case the flywheel is of larger size up to 2.5 meters diameter, the arms are made instead of web, as shown in figure 4B. The number of arms depends upon the size of the wheel and its speed of rotation. But the flywheel above 2.5 meters are usually casted into two pieces. Such flywheel is known as speed flywheel. A speed flywheel is the advantage of believing the shrinking stresses in the arm due to an equal rate of cooling of casting. A plywood made in two halves should be split at the arms rather than between the arms in order to obtain better strength at the joint. The two halves of the plywood are connected by means of balls to the half as well as figure 5. The two halves are also joined at the rim by means of cutter joint. So the figure 5 or shrink A, as so in figure 6. The width or depth of the shrink A is taken as 1.25 to 1.25 times the thickness of the link. The slot in the rim into which the link is inserted is made slightly larger than the size of the link. Now, the relative strength of a rim joint in solid beam are given in the following table. So, there are efficiency. Yeah. 
Tak berkos laksan, solid, sipil maupun sirup, nasnoid, konten, lim, pati, pipingan, poin tu tepat, betul. Betul yang membuat tepat kata lo aku jauh jauh. Jadi saya stress times di to, ya nak begini kata mak. Nanti yang stress, okay time pun di to, saya begini biasa stress. Next type of next is rotating disc, also storage separa supply will kalau kita sulit atis. Rotating disc or cylinder are common elements of machine and are used as flywheels. Now, the moment of interest of the halo cylinder about the axis is I is equal to M times R sub O squared plus R sub I squared over 2. Okay? Where R sub O is the outside radius, R sub I is the inside radius. So, figure 7, where M is the mass of the halo cylinder. It's like for... R P and G sub O is P per second squared. Then kinetic energy of the disc is I mega squared over two. Now, if the shaft on which the disc or cylinder is mounted rotates, it would certainly be satisfactory to get R sub I equal to zero, and perhaps include the moment of inertia of other attached bodies. Yeah. So, yung kinabitan nung yung may dayakit na yung radius na R sub I na pag-isang patis, bawa yung hub. The maximum stress caused by centrifugal action is the tangential stress up the perimeter of the hull. So, sigma D maximum is rho omega squared over 4G sub O times quantity of R plus Q, R sub O squared plus 1 minus Q, R sub I squared and pound per square foot. Okay? Where the density rho is pound per cubic foot, it's g is sobo is equal to feet per second squared, and sobo and sobo in feet result in sympathy in face on per square foot. Rho is the process ratio. If all units are in inches, g sobo is equal to 386 feet per second squared. The stress is then sympathy in space, i and all of us. If the hole becomes so small, then r sobo i is approximately zero, then the maximum stress becomes sigma t is equal to rho omega squared, r sub o is squared, times 3 plus mu over 4 sub g o. Rho b sub is squared, times 3 plus mu over 4 g sub o. Yung ang rho tanga, ito nga may tumupo nila kung wala ito. R sub i pag binagit na very small. Well, b sub s is the rho r sub o. Yeah, where B sub N is equal to R sub O omega feet per second for sigma T feet per square foot. Feet is the peripheral speed of a point at radius R sub O, figure 7. The maximum is less from the centrifugal action and a rotating surrey cylinder or this is at the center and this R sub T is equal to rho B sub S squared and 3 plus mu over A sub T sub O. So, the maximum is this from the centrifugal action and about taking a solid cylinder called this is at the center and is sigma t is equal to rho b sub s squared and t plus the over a g sub o. The equation is for solid cylinder. And this one is for hollow cylinder. Okay? Ito lang ang isang clock na may may silo. May butas pa rin siya. So from which we conclude that this stress is doubled by putting a pinhole in the center of a solid piece. And times two, the stress by putas. 
Now, if the rotating member is subject to forces other than centrifugal, the stress is induced by other by these other forces are superposed on those described above. So, yeah, I can okay. okay, sample number one. A cast iron flywheel with a mean diameter of 36 inches changes from 400 RPM to 380 RPM while it gives up 800 8,000 foot pounds of energy. What is the coefficient of the equation, the weight, and the approximate cross section of the area of the rim? The technology of average stability is separating. Separating is like balance. Okay, I'm going to get the stock as a mirror on the Ano, ano yun? Si pasyente sa hindi nag-reviewer. Masahin mo yung lecture. Pagdating ko sa example niya, the problem, hindi pa na yung approach. Kaya mali yung solution niya doon. Kahit masahin mo yung lecture niya. Ano yun? Meron dyan, meron yung viewer doon. Kasi may kalahan yung mabuti. Pinalian ko kayo, pinagitan nyo yung solusyon doon na kinoplan nyo, hindi mali, isa nalilig kayo. Sa sariling libro doon, yung viewer, ang tanyo yung libro doon. Okay, that is the average. Ang average, that is normal. Okay? Solusyon, ito, given D is equal to 36 inches, and so one is 400 RPM, and so two is equal to 3A RPM, and the K is equal to 8,000 foot pounds, required, CF, W, and A. Solution. So, solving for coefficient of tuck pressure. C sub F is equal to N sub 1 minus N. Then for N is equal to N sub 1 plus N sub 2 over 2. So, C sub F is equal to 2 times N sub 1 minus N sub 2 over N sub 1 plus N sub 2. Then N sub 1 is equal to 4,000 RPM. And N sub 2 is equal to 380 RPM. And C sub F is equal to 2 times 4. 100 minus 380 over 400 plus 380 is 0.0513. Solving for the weight, W is equal to 32.2 times delta KE over CFP is squared. And this one is to the left, which is delta KE is 8,000 foot pounds. C sub F is 0.0513. BS is equal to 5DN over 12 over 60. So D is equal to 36 in yes. The average N is 400 plus 380 over 2 is equal to 390 RPM. The B sub S is equal to 5 times 36 times 390 over 12 plus 60 is equal to 61.26 bit per second. So w is equal to 32.2 plus 8,000 over 0.0513 divided by 61.26 squared is 1,338 pounds. So, nakuha muna yung C sub F, ito. Pwede mo lagyan po na sa answer. W is, ito, answer. Wait, so walang binanggit ilang percent yung R o, ano, o rim. So, yun ang mga click dito. Okay? So, more on example, check nyo lang yung mga viewers and the solve problem. Okay? So, itong W pounds, ito, rim. So, the cross section of the rim is the rim lang. Iyon pa rin kinunta pa doon. W is equal to ruby. As yung pagkas iron is 0.254 pounds per cubic inch. Dahil wala binanggit dito. Pagkas iron na. So, B is equal to 5DA. B is equal to 36 inches. W is equal to 5DA. So, 1338 is equal to 0.254 times 5 times 36. A is equal to 46 square inch. This is now your area. Target area lang. Approximate sectional area of the rim. Gusto mo lagyan ng mga pension? So, okay. So, tama. Okay. Example number two. A hollow shaft with B sub O is equal to 6. B and B sub I 3 inches. Rotates 10,000 RPM. A. What is the maximum stress in the shaft due to rotation? Will this stress materially affect the strike of the shaft? Or B. The same as A, except that the shaft is too big. So given, B sub O is equal to 6 inches, B sub I 3 inches, 10,000 RPM, so in diameter D sub O. Required, A, maximum stress in the shaft due to rotation, B, maximum stress if the shaft is too big. 
solution A, solving for maximum distance S of T is equal to rho omega squared over 4 G sub O times T plus mu R sub O squared plus 1 minus mu R sub O squared in PSI, where R sub O is equal to T sub O over 2 is equal to T sub O over 2 or T in GS and R sub I is equal to T sub O over 2 or T over 2 or 1.5. Now, for a steel, pro is equal to 0.484 part per cubic inch. So this formula is for halo shock. It's so late, it's not enough. 8, 4, so 4. So, G sub is equal to 386 inch per second. Oops. This is acceleration. Okay. G sub is equal to 386 inch per second square. So omega is equal to 2 pi times 10,000 over 60. Diba? Convert mo itong RPM to radians per second. 1,047 radians per second. Sigma t is equal to rho. Omega is equal to over 4 over g sub o times 3 plus mu times r sub o is equal to plus 1 minus mu times r sub o is equal to psi is t in this graph. So sigma t is equal to we throw it four times one zero four seven squared over four over four eight six inch each. So this is three plus point eight and three squared plus one minus point three plus one point five squared is equal to six three zero six. So this doesn't affect this type of the shot because it will not cost the cost of fifty thousand five thousand of cast iron. So it is a letter B. So break for maximum stress for solid. Sigma t is equal to rho omega squared times p plus mu r sub o squared over a e sub o is equal to 0.284 times 1047 squared times p plus 0.3 times p is equal to 8 over 386 is 2994 psi. So, diba? Ang sulit. Mama, stress. Okay? Thank you very much. This is the end of my will.